This probably sounds familiar to you. You're cleaning and organizing your house, then you come across some items. They're in great shape, but you really don't have a use for them anymore. And you think, why not sell them? Get a little extra cash. And if you've done it in the past without any luck, well, don't worry, because here to help and share tips for resellers is our friend and mob blogger, Audrey McClellan. Welcome back. Thanks for having me. This is something that you personally have done. I have done this successfully. For years. Very successfully, yes. That's yes. nice to hear. You're going to break it down, and we're going to give five tips for our viewers. So yes. let's Let's start with research. Research. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I know this sounds kind of like a basic tip, but actually it really does help. So go on to, let's just use eBay for instance. You mm -hmm. know, there's a lot of different reseller sites out there. But, you know, go on and like if you want to sell a pair of jeans, go on and see if that particular brand is selling well on eBay. What mm -hmm. are the prices it is actually selling for? Really sit down. I actually use a little notebook and I write down all the stuff that I find around my house and I actually see if it's selling. Because if it's not selling, then it's not worth putting it on. So Good really point. just sit down and do a lot of research. Or like research what is selling well and then go and find those products. You could also do the reverse as well. Mm -hmm. um, I love this tip. Free is always better. Uh, free, free is, is for best. me. <laughs> I, I do. I, I always think that free is the best. You know, and I know you can do sourcing trips for products, which definitely helps. You mm -hmm. can go to yard sales, but I love this. I look around my house. I see what we don't use. Exactly what you said. If you're not using anything, sell it. And then on top of that, Ask friends, ask family. There's a lot of people out there that love to just get rid of stuff. Right. And a lot of the times, it's really good stuff. So I'll ask my mom or you know my brothers or my mother-in-law, is there anything that you guys aren't using that you want to get rid of? And I always tell them I'd like to resell it. But mm -hmm. still, you never know what you might find. My mom gave me a bunch of textbooks from college, and those sell extremely well on Amazon and on eBay. Mm -hmm. So th those are like just like hot ticket items right in her house that they weren't being used. Yeah, and like you said, people just love to get rid of clutter sometimes. Think, get rid of it. You're Absolutely. doing them a it favor. Right. <laughs> um, setting a goal, too. Yes. you got to be realistic here. Be realistic. You know, this is my goal each month, and I started this when I really started going uh, full speed ahead again in June. Mm -hmm. I just try each month to, to pay my daughter's preschool. And that for me was a tangible goal. I know mm -hmm. how much money her preschool is each month. And so therefore I list as many items each month that would need to make that money up. Wow. So one thing that you can do too, I know that when my sister started, she said, I want to, I want to do five things a day and mm -hmm. I just want to list five things a day, or maybe it's 10 a week, but have a goal because a lot of times you can get overwhelmed and stressed and you're really going at it at the beginning and then it gets overwhelming, but give yourself the, the ability to actually sit and like you said, a realistic goal, what could mm -hmm. work for you. Now, where do you sell these items? Because that's a, that's a good thing to keep in mind. Absolutely. There's different places to sell these. You could go on eBay, there's Poshmark, there's Amazon, there's a bunch of different reseller sites. Mm -hmm. And one thing too that I love to also give people information, if you're looking to really go full steam ahead, you can go to different websites like liquidation.com. You can go to eFlip. And these are actual sources that give you products that you can buy to resell. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So if you don't have the stuff in your house, if you don't want to go to yard sales every weekend, there are places where you can, again, the goal is you buy you buy low and you mm -hmm. sell high. Right. So if you can just get that mentality, then you then you will be a good reseller. You bring up, this leads into your final point, which is yes. price to sell. Don't just price something at $100 if exactly. it's not going to go anywhere. Exactly. You know, what I love to do is I always do an average. Mm -hmm. So I go on and let's just say I wanted to sell this vest that I have on today. And I'd go on as, okay, so what is the highest price this is selling for? What's the mm -hmm lowest price and then I do that sweet spot so I'm gonna go in the middle because I really do want to sell it but I don't want it to sit on eBay you know mm -hmm. when I see stuff that's not selling on eBay that's usually indication to me that I'm too high right so I always love to just and the great thing is you can always change the price you can always adapt you can always edit mm -hmm. so I'm you know it's just really finding a price that's gonna work for you you don't want to give something away either where right. you're making like 50 cents off of it exactly and that happens to people so you don't want that to happen to you these are a lot of details and you make it even easier because you kind of created your own little yeah. Went through the process. Yeah, you know, my best friends and I, who are business partner Vera Sweeney and I, we created an hour long, truly, it's a, it's a teachable course, but it's a tutorial mm -hmm. from beginning to end on how to get started on eBay. And we have it on right. our website, permission to hustle365.com. Awesome. Yeah. I love that. And all great tips, too. Audrey, thank you thank so you. much. I'm sure you have a lot of stuff in your house that you're looking to sell. We're going to post Audrey's tips on our website in case you missed any of them. Just go to roadshow.com and good luck.